Jay Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, well, he got 16, 17 grams since he's been with Beyonce. Right? And, and you go prior to that, one. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that came in association, like like you see the, the kids even have grammys. Like they don't they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> and they already have Grammys. So it's like they give this give them this trophy so so we secure that they're coming mm. to the award show. It meant that much to the culture that they just gave them the things that both Jay-Z and Beyonce, because see he procures her out there. He is her handler. And he is the one that pushes her out there public and then he profits off her. So we're looking at, and I don't care how much talent you think they have. I don't care how much talent you think they have. She was chosen for him. It is a karmic thing looking at their chart, but he was, she was chosen for him in order to help him get where he needed to go. So she's the muse, but let's use this in a different way. Sometimes we use the word muse in the terms of profiteering off of it. He's we are going to start seeing through the veil when it comes to Jay-Z and within three years, public favor is removed. Now he's not the first one to go down behind P Diddy, but he's a close second. So it's a combination that's coming after him. And when they take him down, they're going to take Beyonce down behind him. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh, oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. So it's been over two weeks since Diddy's Cribs got raided, forcing him to lay low. And yet not a peep from the Carters or any of the other supposed pals who used to be by Diddy's side during the good time. But leave it to 50 Cent to spill some tea on the situation. According to him, if you thought the feds had some dirt on Diddy, just wait until you hear what they might have on Jay-Z. But it's not just Jay-Z's bond with Diddy that's grabbing attention. Beyonce's name is also being thrown into the mix, with rumors swirling about her involvement involvement with Diddy. Now, if you're wondering why Beyonce's name keeps cropping up in the connection with Diddy's legal woes, here's the lowdown. Word on the street is that B and J not only knew about Diddy's alleged wrongdoings, but could have been tangled up in something similar themselves. And now the question on everyone's mind is, just how deep does this rabbit hole go? And what exactly does 50 Cent have up his sleeve when it comes to Beyonce's connection to Diddy? Let's break it down. This Diddy story is wild. 50 Cent is posting about Jay-Z, wondering where his location is because I think he's the next domino to fall. There's a lot of strange things going on with Jay-Z. 50 Cent and Jay-Z have had their fair share of drama over the years. And now it seems like 50's got some hot gossip regarding Jay-Z and Beyonce possibly being tangled up in Diddy's murky business dealings. So here's the tea. After the feds swooped in and raided Diddy's properties earlier this week, 50 Cent wasted no time in taking to social media to throw some serious shade at Jay-Z. He's out here questioning why Jay-Z has suddenly vanished into thin air. Now, sure, some people are quick to brush off 50's comments as just him stirring the pot because of their past beef and his penchant for being extra petty. But hold up, it's not just 50 calling out Jay-Z on this one. There have been whispers from various insiders in the industry about how Jay and Diddy run in the same circles given their shared interests and connections. And let's give credit where credit is due though. 50 Cent does have a knack for asking the tough questions and staying committed to trolling Diddy. I mean, seriously, where are Diddy's ride or die friends when he's in hot water? And where in the world is Jay-Z in all of this? It seems like everyone but 50 is too scared to even utter Diddy and Jay's names together. It's been over two weeks since Diddy's homes were raided and his kids put in cuffs, and yet not a peep from Jay-Z. And it looks like 50 has something to say about it. He took to his IG to share this photo of Jay's face on a milk carton with the caption, anybody seen Jay? LOL. Puff said he ain't answering his phone. LOL. But 50 didn't stop there. He also dropped another photo of Jay-Z saying, here is Jay-Z, last reported, seen waving at Puffy's jet. LOL. So as soon as 50 Cent started shining a spotlight on Jay-Z's close ties with Diddy, speculation started running rampant. People were out here theorizing that Beyonce might just cut ties with Jay and file for a divorce before things really hit the fan. There were even whispers about Beyonce supposedly taking steps to protect her assets by separating them from Jay's, just in case Diddy's troubles somehow dragged Jay down with him. But hold up, there's always another side to the story. Now, the rumor mill is churning out some fresh tales and is pointing fingers at Beyonce herself. 
Yeah, you heard that right. Queen Bey might not be as innocent in all of this as some folks assumed. Word on the street is that Beyonce wasn't just a bystander in Jay's alleged shenanigans. She was allegedly an active participant. Some juicy gossip is circulating, suggesting that Beyonce not only knew about Jay's schemes, but might have even encouraged him to get this eliminate her competition. Beyonce is facing some pretty eyebrow-raising accusations lately. I'm talking about everything from claims of her sabotaging other black female artists to allegations of her dabbling in witchcraft. And guess what? These accusations aren't just popping up out of nowhere. They're coming from people who were once in Beyonce's inner circle. Let's talk about Kimberly Thompson, Beyonce's former drummer. Back in 2018, she shook things up by dropping a bombshell accusation, claiming that Beyonce was knee-deep in what she described as extreme extreme witchcraft. Thompson even filed for a restraining order against Beyonce, claiming that Bay was using spells and magic to mess with her, even after she moved to another city to escape her influence. It, it already was so much for me because I'm such a nice, loving, patient, tolerable person. Um, this has been going on since 2006 and it's just been getting worse and worse and worse. And for a very long time, I put this person on a pedestal. I love them. I send emails, you know, publicly, happy birthday and all this stuff. And the entire time, this person was casting spells and manipulating me and controlling my job situations, my relationships. Um, just all kinds of things. More recently, Beyonce's former dance captain Ashley Everett has been stirring the pot with some pretty wild allegations against Queen Bey. Word on the street is that Ashley got caught liking some seriously shady posts and comments about Beyonce. And get this, one of those posts even hinted that Beyonce's music is demonic. By the way, that post that Ashley was caught liking referred to a speech by poet Jackie Hill Perry, who made waves with this theory that artists like Beyonce are basically just puppets being used to push a demonic agenda. I don't know who told us you gotta be a witch to be black. You are not more black by engaging in witchcraft that is still propagating a white supremacist lie that black people in Africa didn't know Jesus. I am angry that the powers that be in social media and in culture and in music and in Beyonce's music and in Kalani's music and in whatever the other, and in Santa, like I'm angry that they are really trying to convince us that all spiritualism is the same. And we have digested this impurity and this, we, we want so bad not to be legalistic that we actually become profane. We also can't overlook Kanye West's two cents on the matter. I mean, he used to be tight with the Carters for ages, but they threw him under the bus as soon as he started exposing how the music business really works. And Kanye is now saying that Jay-Z and Beyonce are just puppets on strings, controlled by the people who actually run the entertainment industry. They can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They could control Shaq. They could control Charles Barkley. They could control LeBron James. They could control Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, no, you, man. But they can't control me. Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood. A lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God loved me. Now going back to 50 Cent, he's got another wild tale to add to the mix. Apparently, he spilled the beans about a run-in with Beyonce back when he was beefing with Jay-Z. And let me tell you, the way 50 described Beyonce, he made it sound like she was possessed or something. So Beyonce <laughs> jumped down on you. She jumped out. She was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, oh, come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped out. She was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait, what is she doing? That stuff, that's me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. Don't come so who wasn't there? It, me, I'm talking to Jay. You're talking I'm talking to, to Jay. Jay. As soon as I talked to Jay, she jumped down, came over. I said, oh, shit, look at this. They about to jump you. Nah, she came like she was ready. She's like, ready. I thought something was going to happen. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's throwing me off now. Because I don't know what exactly how to respond to this. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are still Beyonce. Besides that, we don't exactly need to jump through hoops to link Beyonce to Diddy. The Carters haven't exactly kept their friendship with him under wraps. I mean, just take a stroll down the archives and you'll find a bunch of snapshots showing Beyonce and Jay-Z mingling with Diddy at his parties and various industry gatherings. In fact, the baby recently dished out some insider info about the first time he crossed paths with Beyonce. And turns out it was at none other than a Diddy after party. According to the baby, after the main event wound down, Diddy extended the invite to about 15 special guests to keep the party going. And wouldn't you know it, the Carters were among that exclusive group. I actually met Beyonce before. That was one of the people people be like, who you didn't met? You know what I'm saying? It, it, like it threw you out, like it took you back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Beyonce, she, she, uh, I was at a party at Diddy Crib in, in LA. This was, uh, this was, this was the beginning of, of 2020. You know what I mean? And, uh, Diddy had, he had put everybody else out the crib. Like the, the influx of people, he had put them out. But he had, he had, uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, you know what I mean? Like, putting his arm around me. Right. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm -hmm. Me and, you know, maybe about, maybe about 15 others, you know, right. Jay-Z and Beyonce being, you know, two of the other 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 15 people in the room. So that that just put into perspective of the type of company I was in. Right. To be clear, just because the baby saw the Carters at Diddy's house party doesn't automatically mean they're caught up in any mess. But with Diddy now facing the scrutiny of a federal investigation, it's only natural that fans are taking a magnifying glass to every little detail of Diddy's friendship with Beyonce and Jay-Z. And you know how it is when one domino falls, everyone's eyes are on the rest of the lineup. Plus, with 50 Cent now questioning how come Jay-Z went into hiding as soon as news broke about the Diddy raids, people are looking at the Carters in a whole different light. Now it's up to you what you want to believe. Some people argue that the Carters are just savvy entrepreneurs who understand how to navigate the tough music industry and come out on top. On the other hand, there are many of those who don't see Jay-Z and Beyonce in such a positive light. And they're saying Beyonce will never leave her husband because they're different sides of the same coin. Plus, people are also pointing out that the Carters have profited off of the black excellence image they push to the public. But behind the scenes, they've allegedly played dirty and betrayed their own community on their rise to fame. One fan said, she's not leaving him. She's a female version of him. That's not gonna happen, even though he and Diddy are disgusting. Her turning a blind eye, just as guilty. And another one added, I'm sure Jay made Beyonce his accomplice. So if he falls, she falls. Both are enmeshed in this mess. I doubt she will divorce him. They didn't call their joint tour on the run for nothing. But what's your take on all these accusations swirling around Queen B? Do you think the Carters might face a similar fate to Diddy? Or do you think they're too powerful and protected at this point to go down? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and then make sure to stick around for this next video.